Alright, so today we're going to make an easy recipe. It's hard boiled eggs. Very easy to make at home and uh, really great quick and easy snack to eat for breakfast or take for lunch. So what you need to make hard boiled eggs is obviously some eggs. You need a uh, saucepan here with um, just room temperature water right now, just whatever comes out of the faucet. Do not preheat it, I have no heat on. You need a bowl of ice water and uh, some type of utensil, I'm going to use tongs, to take the uh, eggs out of the hot water once we cook them. So the first thing you're going to do is just do not turn on your heat yet. Just throw the eggs that you want to cook into the pan. I'm going to cook six. You want the water to be high enough that it's over the eggs, uh, but you don't have to fill it all the way up to the top. You don't want it boiling over. But just make sure the water covers all the eggs. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this on and put it on pretty high heat. I set my heat to 8 out of 10. I'm actually going to turn it up to 9 out of 10. What we're going to do is bring this up to a boil at a pretty fast speed and once the water is boiling, uh, I'll tell you the next step. We'll come back and see what happens in a second here. Alright, so it's been a few minutes, probably about five minutes, and now my water has heated up and it's just starting to boil. We don't have a rapid boil going yet, but it's just starting to boil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my uh, timer. Oops, that's the actual time. I'm going to set up my timer though for uh, nine minutes. And now that this is starting to boil, I want it to kind of get up to a rapid boil, which it's almost there. Once it gets to a rapid boil in about 10 to 30 seconds here, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down to about 7 out of 10. So medium high heat. I want to keep this boiling more than a simmer. I don't want to simmer this. I want it to boil for the full nine minutes. But you don't have to leave it on full heat and have it boil over. just want to keep it boiling for the next uh, nine minutes. So now that it's starting to boil pretty good, I'm going to turn my heat down. Medium high heat and let it continue to boil for the rest of the nine minutes. And then we'll come back and look at the next step. Alright, so it's just about nine minutes later. I got 18 seconds left. So we're going to need this bowl of ice water. This is a very important step when cooking hard boiled eggs. You're going to want to let these cook for nine minutes and like I said the time's up. In seven seconds I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my timer so it doesn't beep. So now after nine minutes we're going to take these out one at a time and put them directly into ice water. This is going to stop them from cooking and get them you know, stopped right at the perfect cook amount. Once you get all these out of here and into the ice water, I got a lot of ice in this water and the ice is kind of taking up the, uh, the whole thing here. But once the ice breaks down a little bit, there we go, now we got them all in there. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and just uh, let this sit in the ice water or you could throw it in the refrigerator, uh, it doesn't matter, for about a half an hour though. And then you could take them out of the ice, empty out the water and just put them in the fridge and keep them. We'll come back here after they cool down a little bit, open one up and see how they look. Alright, so now after your eggs have uh, cooled down uh, for a while, you can go ahead and empty out all the water and ice, and I'm just going to throw these in my fridge here. Oops. And that's where I'll just leave them as I eat them. Now I did take one over here out, and I've already unpeeled it. Peel came off nice and easy, as you can see it looks perfect. And I'm just going to go ahead and break this open so we can take a look at the yolk. As you can see, nice yellow yolk with no dark green spots or anything like that. The cooling process which you know stops the cooking is what helps do that as well. So now most people would add some salt and enjoy a nice hard boiled egg. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. See you guys later.